Hey everyone, it's me, Edward. Today I'm taking a look at CNN.com, Central America's Bloody Drug Problem. Uh, it appears to me that some of the Spanish translation that's going on isn't quite what it should be. Let's take a look at the story. It's completely real. We're not making up how violent this place is. We've been here four hours and uh, our first body's turned up. It appears that he's been shot uh, the impact wound appears to be right here on the right side of his head. And uh, the police commissioner told us that, you know, as is very typical in these situations, nobody saw anything, nobody heard anything, and nobody knows this guy. All right, so keep in mind that the point of the whole story is that there were a lot of murders taking place and that no one saw anything, no one heard anything. So listen to this question very carefully. Here we go. Hey, amigo, esto pasa muy seguido por acá. The question is, oye, amigo, eso pasa muy seguido por acá. That basically translates to, hey there, friend, is this happening on a regular basis here? No. Oh, no. No. The answer is definitely no. What do you want to stop? And then the reporter says, no one saw anything. No, no one saw anything. Watch it yourself. Here we go. Yeah. Go back a little bit. Watch it. This is very typical in these situations. Nobody saw anything, nobody heard anything, and nobody knows this guy. Hey, amigo, esto pasa muy seguido por acá. No. Oh, no. Nobody wants to stop, which suggests that people are definitely uh, afraid in this neighborhood. No. The question wasn't whether anybody saw anything. The question was, does this happen all the time over here? And the answer was no, which goes completely in the face of the entire point of the story. Now, I'm not saying that murders aren't happening in Honduras. I am sure that they are. But get your facts straight, okay? The question was, does this happen frequently here? And the answer was no, okay?